Today we're going to be looking at uh, masks in uh, Photoshop. We have two documents here and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the kind of boring sky from this first document here and uh, replace it with the a little more involved sky with the cloud coverage here in document two. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the background we're going to pull this photo from the background layer. And we'll select all, control A, and then control X for cut, and then control V for paste. In good form, let's label the uh, layer. And by habit, I usually make the background black. Uh, the next thing we need to do is select the sky. And we're going to use the Quick Select tool. We're just going to paint the selection, and uh, you'll see that we we kind of got this peak uh, in our selection. And uh, normally we would uh, remove that from the selection, but uh, I'm going to use it for an example later on in this video. Um, now the next thing we need to do we when when making a mask, uh, if there's something already selected on the layer. Uh, and you click the add mask tool it will it will assume that you want to mask out everything but what's selected um, so in this case we want to actually inverse the selection so the mountains are selected and then we can come over here and add layer mask and you'll see that now the sky is removed um, the edges are a little rough but uh, for purpose of this video we'll we'll ignore that uh, this this image we're gonna Control A uh, and then copy, and then select the background layer so that we can paste it underneath the mountains. So Control V for paste, and in good form we'll name the uh, layer. Now next, uh, you will notice that the the sky still is kind of boring. Um, so what we'll do is we'll hold down Control and we'll kind of drag this layer to an area with a little more cloud, cloud with a little more cloud coverage. There, that's nice. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring that peak back. So we're going to zoom in, and we're just going to we're going to get a brush that uh, <clears throat> we're going to select the brush tool, and we're going to set the hardness to about ninety, and uh, we're just going to paint since we don't really know where the uh, the edges are, and we're gonna we're just going to paint. Um, white onto the mask and since we don't know where the edges are we're just gonna kind of do it blindly um, because we can flip the uh, color to black and uh, remove the sky and we'll make our brush a little smaller with the left bracket and just kind of run along the edge here. Uh, like I said, normally I would take a little more time in making this detailed, uh, um, but this example is really just to give you an idea of what we can use layer masks for. All right, that looks good enough. So we'll go ahead and zoom back out. And I'm gonna show you one more little trick. We're gonna we're going to use uh, layer masks to kind of, uh, we're going to bring some fog up into the forefront here into this valley. And uh, it's going to give the illusion that the, the sky or the clouds is uh, are on top of the mountain layer. However, all we're really going to do is we're going to select a, a kind of medium gray and paint some semi-transparency onto the mask here. And what it's going to, and we're going to make sure the brush is a little softer um, so that we can get a nice, nice soft fog mist effect. So just go ahead and we're going to paint kind of down the valley here. And you'll see that uh, just a little bit of the clouds are showing through. And it gives us a nice little effect. Um, if we wanted to, we can select a, uh, a darker gray and kind of uh, run down the uh, line there in the valley and make the uh, clouds look a little more dense. So we'll do that now. And 
there you go. Uh, the next video will address some a little more advanced masking topics, and uh, I might reopen this uh, project and give you guys an idea of, of kind of how to match colors here, because you see we've got this blue and uh, teal that are kind of clashing, and it's making it kind of apparent.